Making fertilizer decisions is a real challenge, and it's even more challenging when we have high fertilizer prices. In order to maximize the return on investment of my fertility dollar, I like to start with a good soil test. A soil test for phosphorus and potassium that shows that we're in the high or very high category for a field can indicate that we could possibly skip a year of fertilizer application in those fields. However, if we skip a year of fertilizer application, we do need to keep in mind that the next crop is going to remove some of that fertility from the field and will eventually need to be replaced. When it comes to choosing which fertilizer to apply to the field, it's always a good idea to remember that that fertilizer is always sold with a plant available basis. So we need to understand what percentage of each nutrient is in that fertilizer package. So then we can start to calculate out what our fertilizer dollars are going towards and which nutrients we are applying to our fields. In order to maximize return on investment, we have to have adequate fertility levels in our fields and be replacing that as we go. And again, that starts with that good soil test level.